Hey guys, today I did an eye exploding from the face. Literally, it's like all gory and disgusting. If you want to see how it's done, just keep watching. First thing you're going to need is liquid latex, a beautiful paper plate. Here I am just pouring the liquid latex onto the plate, showing you what I'm doing. You can use any pair of eyelashes. I just have this Chinese brand or Korean. I have my infallible foundation, Blood Scab. Of course, my Graftobian, and I'm just probably going to be using the red and black. Need some paintbrushes, some vampire blood, some Mayron stage blood, some wool in the color red. Some tweezers, some Kleenex, and an eyeball. You guys want to see how this eyeball is made? Just comment down below. Some makeup remover pads. Here I am just measuring it onto my face, seeing if it'll fit. Where do I need to put the liquid latex? I do advise if you do put liquid latex around your eye like I am, please, 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 please be careful because if it does stick to your eyelash, it's not going to be a pretty sight and I don't want you guys to get hurt and try and rip it off and watch out because it does hurt the eye so I just did it for show. You can use something else. I have no idea what else. Something eye safe. I just use liquid latex. I took it in my own way like I'm responsible for my own eye if something does happen. So here I am, I'm just applying liquid latex around the makeup remover pad. This has to be a dry pad, of course. I just got this at my local dollar store. This is what I use to remove my makeup. I just put cream on it and it works like magic. Here I am just using my finger because that's the best thing that I use for my makeup because the sponges absorb really fast and I just gotta throw them out after. So just keep applying it, and I'm just showing you how I'm applying it. Here I'm just applying a Kleenex because then it's easier to paint than the cotton because the cotton, like, it all sticks and it's all mushy and it's all gross and I hate it. So I'm just applying my Kleenex. That's about it. I'm going to apply a few layers so I can paint it. vampire blood and I started painting it. I was gonna grab a cream paint but it didn't work out so well. So I just grabbed my vampire blood and I painted it all over. Make sure your edges are nice and smooth to not make it look like it's a prosthetic. It's actually coming out your eye and everything. I started using my finger because you know what? That's what got gave you. See pizza. cotton wool and I cut it and then I spread it into pieces 
and I just glue it on my face, my eyeball, sorry. And it looks like it's bloody and vessels. Just shove it in a uh, liquid latex. That works best. second time using it so it's not that pretty that's for sure you gotta hold it a bunch of times it's really hard to work with like I think it took me like 10 minutes before it actually stuck on because I was getting a lot of latex underneath soaking in my eyes I was like oh my gosh it's killing me so this is why I'm saying be careful as much as you can please here I just grabbed I don't know what happened to the video part I just grabbed a half of the cotton pad that I put on my eye and I made a dome shape so to look like it's actually coming out of my eyeball. Then I grabbed my Mayron Dark Blood and I started applying it all over to make it more realistic because the vampire blood doesn't even look that good as a blood. I just use it as a face really. And here it's just unsticking a little so I'm trying to stick it back on and I'm applying my dark blood as we go. so you're fine with it your eyelid I mean and I just stuck it where my fake eyelid is quotations fake eyelid um and I'm just applying more blood now I'm applying scab blood that's what I'm doing scab blood gives it the effect of a darker blood and I'm just drizzling it down my eyeball to make it seem a better effect is all you can shove it up above your eyebrow, but I did it. I want to keep my eyebrow, I don't know why, but it doesn't look that messy. So next time, just cover your eyebrow if you want to go for a bigger look. Anyways, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.